Yes, Miss Elin. If there's nothing else, sir, I'll be going home. Oh, no, that's all right, Miss Elin. I'm about to leave myself. Good night. Straker. Possible sighting, Commander. Have trace on positive track. Course 428146 Green. Speed 0 Sol 8. Range 32 million miles closing. Red alert. Red alert. Control to interceptors. Have UFOs on positive track. Green 140. Base to shadow control. Confirm Speed. UFO sightings. Zero, Going for intercept. Decimals. Maintaining speed and course. Apogee 027 decimal 324. million miles. Positive track green 140273. Yes, we have that. Roger, we confirm orbital reference. Speed correction. So 0 0.7. I have green on 1, 2, and 3. Roger. Speed Sol 0 decimal 78. Range 17 million miles. Nothing yet, sir. Destruct negative. UFO beyond interceptor range heading for Earth. Pretty effective blanket detonation by the interceptors. We're not good enough. Well, the one that got through is almost certainly damaged. The sky wants you to get it. Where's that trajectory termination? I'm just coming through, sir. North Atlantic, grid reference, G6. Commander Straker, there's an aircraft entering the target area. Confirm tracking 013. Area red 412. Have positive trace. Waiting for confirmation. Well, if it's not a military jet, what the blazes is it? It's not a commercial airliner. It's far too high and way off the air lanes. XV-104 to control. This is control. Leveled out at 250,000. Airspeed 2200. Pressure normal. Cabin temperature 72. We'll start the test schedule when we get to area G6. G6. Roger XV-104. Is that VAC? Have you an aircraft overflying the Atlantic? Shall I call it off? Now, hold on. Sir, 
It's an experimental jet on a test flight. Commercial? Ventura Aircraft Corporation. They're on the line. I understand you have a jet over the North Atlantic. Grid reference, um... G6. G6. All right. Tell your pilot to alter course. Well, anywhere. Just get him out of that area. Look, I don't care how much money it costs. Get him out of there or you won't have an aircraft to test. We're 150 miles from the test area. ETA, four minutes. Right. It's Skydiver, sir. Captain Carlin. What's the position you're in, Captain? Compute, we can go for immediate intercept after Sky One lifts off. Right. Right. Stand by for liftoff. Sky one airborne, sir, going for intercept. Course steady at 014. Airspeed 2185 knots. Jim, we're just about coming up to. What is it? We'll soon find out. We're closing fast. It's unbelievable. Stand by with a reconnaissance camera. Try to get some close shots. Have you found radar track? Closing in for attack. Control to XV-104. What is it, Control? Alter course to 024. Listen, Bill, forget the test schedule. We're onto something up here. I'll explain later. Listen, Bolt, this is a direct instruction. Alter course. Sorry, Control, out. Get on to someone in authority. Dig the chairman out of bed if necessary. What do I tell him? I tell him the aircraft's violating a war game area. Anything. Just get it out of there. Yes, sir. Range 125 miles closing. You'll have to call it off. Sky One attacks. That aircraft takes its chances. Program set. Missile launch, 25 seconds. Paul, there's another aircraft. Just keep taking those shots. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Positive, UFO destroyed. And the jet? It was close, it must have been hit. to my eyes. My eyes, no, what's Mr. happened to my eyes? It's all what's right. Happened? It's what's all happened? right. Come along. It's all right. Uh... Right, thank you, Nurse. Temporary blindness, Mr. Foster. In a few days, you'll be able to see as well as ever. My name's Fraser. 
Dr. Fraser. Where am I? Grenville Hospital. You ejected just in time. Hungry? I guess so. Good. I have some food sent in. What time is it? Nearly 2 a.m. How long have I been here? Six days. I'll see about that food. What, what happened to Jim? He didn't make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>